So I'm going to show you the updated text tool with its new features and different ways of working. So if we select the text tool and type out some words, I'll write happy birthday and click off. I'm just going to scale that in the center. So we still have the options for choosing different fonts, but now we also have a feature for different font weights. So I'm going to choose bold. We have the size, and then in this drop down, we have vertical spacing as before and horizontal spacing. Then we also have alignment options for left, center, and right. Then we have the original case, how it's written. And then we can choose to uppercase or go back to the original. With the alignment options, if I leave it on center, I'm just going to delete this bottom word and click off if we select it. With the option in the center, and we click and drag this, we can rotate around the center. If the option was on to left alignment and find that same button and pull, it now aligns circularly from the left hand side and the same applies to the right hand side. We can find the button there, as we can see. So going back to the happy birthday word, if we select that, you can see we have the options for weld. And if we have any overlapping letters like we do here, it will weld them up. But with the H, the Y and the B, it won't join those up because they're not overlapping. Even if we double clicked, you can see it's still a live text. So we can alter the text, but we just can't move them. So we can cancel the weld, which then splits it back up again. From there, if we right click, we have two options convert to path and split text. I'm going to show you convert to path first. If we select that, you can now see that we have options for edit, edit compound and release compound. If we choose edit, everything now is a separate path and we can go and alter the shape and we could try and select everything and move them left and right, but it's not very easy. Then we have options for edit compound. This splits all the lines up into their own separate paths that you can move about. But if we did that, there's still not a lot we can do. So the last option is release compound, which splits everything up into their own paths again. But now we have options for unite, and subtract and overlap. But what we would have to do again is we'd have to go around and right click and make compound vector of all the shapes that have multiple parts. Then we can actually move things to overlap. And once we've done that, we could then select everything and then choose unite. But there is a better way if I just undo. So back with the original happy birthday text, if this time we selected and right clicked, you can see split text. If we choose that and click off, you can see the Y is all joined up and each letter is split up into their own separate object. But because it's live text, we can double click and we can change the font still. We can also change the font weight and we can change the size and everything else. We can also select everything and move to overlap. And once we've done that, we have the option to unite. But there is a problem with the live text, such as the dot on the eye. If we wanted to join this to the bottom of the eye, we can't just simply double click because it's live text. What we'd have to do is right click and choose convert to path. From there, we would need to choose release compound path so we can move this independently and place over the bottom of the eye. Then all we need to do is overlap everything and all of this is live text apart from the eye, but we can just select everything and we still have the option for unite. Once we've selected that, everything's joined up. Then 
we can align horizontally and we can select happy, scale it, move down and just move over a touch. And if we wanted to alter this here, we could just double click and move one of these points up, move a handle in, click escape, and then we could just select everything and choose unite. This joins everything up, as we can see. From there, we could offset and choose about eight millimeters. And if we didn't want any of these internal holes, we can just choose outer shapes only and click confirm. There we can move to a blue layer, put onto the engrave process. With that selected, arrange, center back, and then we could fill in the happy birthday. And there we have a happy birthday sign. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.